All right, time for a little dollar value LIFO. What do we have to know about it? Dollar value LIFO permits application of LIFO using pools of inventory rather than keeping track of each purchase and sale, which reduces clerical errors if you don't have to keep track of each purchase and sale. So let's jump into dollar value LIFO. The exam gives us ending inventory in current year dollars. That means inflated dollars. And that's 12,800 in our first example here. So the exam is going to tell us that ending inventory in current year dollars is 12,800. The problem is that ending inventory figure includes inflation since the beginning of the year. How do we know? Because the exam will provide a price index of 1.1. Or they might say that there was inflation this year and prices have increased 10% since the beginning of the year. Prices up 10% in one year, that is pretty high inflation. So what does the price index allow us to do? The price index allows the entity to determine the increase in their inventory from beginning of the year to the end without the effects of inflation. So once again, we're going to assume that ending inventory is 12.8, but if prices have risen 10% this year, then how much would ending inventory be if prices had not increased 10%? To answer that, we have to convert ending inventory from the current inflated dollars back to what's called base year dollars. So they told us 12,800 is ending inventory, but that is at current year dollars, they told us. And the prices have gone up 10% this year. So if we want to factor out inflation, we would divide by the price index given at 1.1 and we'll get 11,636 for our ending inventory. Now you would expect it would be a lower number because we're factoring out inflation. We're starting with an inflated number and we want to factor out inflation and get our ending inventory without inflation. So of course it'll be a lower number. If you came out with a higher number here, higher than 12,008, you know you did something wrong. Maybe you multiplied the 1.1. So dividing 12.8 by 1.1 will give you this lower number, and that'll be your inventory, ending inventory, at base year prices. So current ending inventory is only 11,636 when factoring out inflation. With inflation, it's 12,800 that was given. So at 11,636, the ending inventory is what we call at base year cost, not at current year cost. Current year cost will be the 12,800. At base year cost, it's 11636 Now, what do we do next? Well, next we compare beginning inventory, which will always be at base year cost. We'll compare that with the ending inventory that we just calculated at base year cost. So now we'll have base year to compare with base year. We know that 11636 is ending inventory at base year. What's beginning inventory? They'll have to give us that. They'll have to give us that. So beginning inventory is given at 8,000. And since that's beginning inventory, it's without inflation. It's before a whole year of inflation. So the 8,000 beginning inventory, that's at base year prices. So now we know the beginning of the year inventory is 8,000. End of the year is 11,636 without inflation. That means the inventory increase for the year without inflation is 3,636. The current year increase in inventory, 3636. That's helpful to know that your inventory went up without the prices going up, 3636. But that's at base year dollars. What we have to do now is convert the 3636 increase to current year dollars, which are inflated. And how would we do it? Of course, we'll take out the price index again. But this time when we use the price index, we're going to multiply 3636 times the price index. Why? Because we want a higher number now. We want the increase in inventory with the inflation. We want the increase in inventory at current year dollars, which turns out to be $4,000 if you multiply the 3636 times 1.1. Now, what is that $4,000? Very important. That is the LIFO layer for this current year. So that is one thing that the exam could ask. How do you calculate 
the LIFO layer for the current year. So let's go back and do it again. We started with, they gave us 12,800 as ending inventory at current year dollars. We divided by the price index because what we want is ending inventory at base year dollars. We got 11,636. And then we would compare that with beginning inventory, which is always at base year dollars, which is given at 8,000. So the beginning inventory of 8,000 at base year dollars, the ending inventory that we just converted to base year dollars, 11,636, and that's a difference or an increase in our inventory without inflation, 3636. So that current year increase in inventory of 3636, we said that's helpful to know, but it's still at base year dollars. Now we have to convert that increase for the year to current year dollars which are inflated. So that means we have to use the price index again. So 36.36 times 1.1 gives us $4,000. And what is that? That's the LIFO layer for the current year. So now we got the all important LIFO layer for the current year, $4,000. What do we need now? Well, finally, what we want is ending dollar value LIFO inventory. How do we get that? It's beginning dollar value LIFO inventory, 8,000, which they gave us, plus the LIFO layer that we calculated of 4,000, and the answer is $12,000. What is that $12,000? It's the ending dollar value LIFO inventory. It'll go on our balance sheet at $12,000. Note that the $12,000 ending inventory under dollar value LIFO is less than the 12,800, which was given to us earlier in the facts as our ending inventory. Which amount's going to appear on our balance sheet as ending inventory? The 12,800, which they gave us as ending inventory at current year dollars, or the $12,000 that we calculated as dollar value LIFO ending inventory? Of course, we're going to have 12,000 on the balance sheet, and it's going to be a little lower than what they gave us which was 12,800. And that's because we did what we could to factor out the inflation. So if you see this at all on the CPA exam, it'll be a multiple choice question that looks probably a lot like this. All right, Lake Corp switched to dollar value LIFO inventory at the beginning of the year with inventory of 250,000. So we'll say that that's the beginning inventory in the year that they switched to dollar value LIFO. Inflation was high and prices rose 10%. Ending inventory at current year cost is 288750 How much is the LIFO inventory layer? Remember, we always have to calculate that first, the LIFO inventory layer. And then we can calculate the ending inventory under dollar value LIFO. So here's the facts again. How do we calculate the LIFO inventory layer? The first step is to convert the ending inventory at the current year cost with the inflation in it back to base year. And all we have to do is divide by the price index. If they tell us that prices rose 10%, that means the price index is 1.1. If they would have told us prices rose 15%, then the price index would have been 1.15. But since prices rose 10%, 1.1 is our price index. What are we going to do with that? We're going to start with that current year cost of ending inventory, 288750 and we're going to convert it back to base year prices, and we get 2625 which we expect to be a lower amount than the 288750 since we're trying to factor out inflation. The next step is to determine the increase in inventory for the year without inflation. So what we need now is to take that 2625 and compare that to the beginning inventory, and they're both at base year, so the difference is 12,500 increase without inflation. So the amount that the inventory went up without inflation is 12,500, but we've got to convert that increase in inventory, the 12,500, to current year prices. So we take 12,500, multiply it by the 1.1 price index, and we get the now famous LIFO inventory layer, 13750 which is answer choice C. So we're getting to know our way around dollar value LIFO. We know how to calculate the LIFO inventory layer. 
What's next? You could probably guess what's next. Same facts. Now they want to know what's the ending dollar value LIFO inventory. Now that we calculated the LIFO inventory layer for the current year, how much is ending dollar value LIFO inventory? So do you think you know what the ending dollar value LIFO inventory is for the current year? Go ahead and tell me in the comments below. And after you like and subscribe, get yourself on I-75 and take it to your next pass.